It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cincinnati Bengals. Next on Madden NFL 25. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And this is Acor Stadium in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Greg, one of the joys of covering the league week in, week out, you watch guys grow and mature, and all of a sudden you turn around and look at the quarterbacks we have in this game. Now we're looking at guys who have arrived at that magic term, franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think you just have to give a lot of credit, of course, to the player themselves, the work, the ability to invest in themselves to develop, but also in these organizations. They continue to surround these quarterbacks as they've gotten older with better talent, better systems, play to their strengths, maybe protect some of their weaknesses. That's what it takes to play at a high level at the quarterback for a long time in the NFL. And give credit to both these players and both these organizations I think it's official they have their quarterback of the future and the future looks bright this returnable from the four and a decent return there he'll get this up just shy of the 30 the Eagles led out by their quarterback and he is the leader of this offense Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate. His development has been fun to watch, and now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league, and if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. He brought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. So on fourth down, they'll call on Braden Mann to punt. Charlie Jones, the return man for the Bengals. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Bengals' offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow. Can they keep him healthy? Because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Now a second down throw for Burrow. To the middle of the field. That's taken in by Chase. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. 
Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. A run over center for Boss. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a game of about one. N'Kobe Dean in on the tackle. Here's a second and nine. They go once more with Moss. He'll edge forward for maybe a yard. Jalen Carter out of Georgia makes the tackle. Here's third and seven. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. That is caught. Finding Higgins. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. These third down conversions are just so important. Like everybody stresses, we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. First and 10 now from the 36. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Open that downfield. Chase has it. And he will score. Jamar Chase. Touchdown, Bengals. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point. The kick is good, and the Bengals will take a 7-0 lead. TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. A return now from the four. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Eagles offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7 0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Hertz will work here from the pistol. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend so give a lot of credit to this secondary they were all on the same page and the ball falls incomplete there's the tight end grant calcaterra and they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch and listen for a quarterback it all counts the same you don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. 
Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. It's second down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Again, Hurts. He's got the 2021 Heisman winner. That's Devontae Smith. They'll come up to third and three. Hurts working in the pistol. Open man, right side. He's got it. That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one good for 13 yards. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. To the air again. Hurts. That's complete to his running back, Kenneth Gainwell. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Hurts will try it again. That's taken in left side by Smith. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to now the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Second down throw for Hurts. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Third and long. is Hurts. And it's a big run down to the 10-yard line. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on the big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that time, the pressure too much. He'll go down. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. This defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Got it. The tight end comes in motion. So here is the former Giant. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get this down to the 10 yard line.
good drive so far, but this is a big hurdle. It is third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. It is brought in, in the end zone. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Eagles will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. So back to level after the touchdown. Time for the kickoff. Charlie Jones now to return. Now an opening has the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Bengals offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They're trying to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That's to his tight end, Eric All. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big, big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. He'll get that to all his tight end. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Nice catch here by the young rookie tight end, Eric All. Looking back to college, Mike, it's really been the injuries. It's been a torn ACL, back surgery in 22. Because as far as the skill sets involved to play tight end in the NFL, he can really do it all. He is a well-rounded, true inline wide tight end. If he can show the Bengals that he's healthy and he can remain on the field, I think there's a lot of things he can do to play impact on this Bengals offense going forward his rookie season. They'll come up here on second down and five. Another try with Moss. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up first down. They'll run it out of the gun with Moss. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Burrow now. That's complete to all the tight end. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Paris Evans on the scoreboard. Greg and I back here in Cincinnati after this. The 
Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. On the zone read, they'll hand it to Moss. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Here's a second and 12. To throw is Burrow. Open man, that's Charlie Jones. And he'll be taken down after a gain of nine. And third down, coming up. Here's Burrow. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And this won't be a touchdown, but it will be a first down as they're able to get the conversion and set up first and goal. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. He puts it up. Jamar Chase, touchdown Cincinnati. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too far, and it draws the flag. Now it is first and goal. Burrow. This one caught at the four. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. On the handoff, this is Moss. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight-yard line. It makes sense on second and goal, Mike, to keep this ball on the ground. You always have third down again to finally punch it in. But now after the defense forces you backwards, I think you have to consider putting this one in the air here on third and goal. Throwing here on third and goal. He'll try and get there. And he will get into the end zone. Joe Burrow. Touchdown, Bengals. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. That is a heartbreaker for the defense. They took away what he wanted to do in the air, Greg, but that scrambling ability gets him to the end zone for the touchdown. And the reason he was able to take advantage with his legs here, Mike, is he made a fast decision realizing there was nowhere to go with the ball. The amount of guys the defense had in coverage took those passes away. He tucked the ball down, took advantage of the space, and he was able to take it all the way. On is McPherson for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bengals will move out to a 14-7 lead. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. A safe kick taken at the five. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10.
Here's the change of pace back. That's Kenneth Gainwell. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Here's Barkley. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. He'll try to run here with Barkley. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards. Give him four yards. It was third and two as they convert. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. A pistol snap back to Hertz. That's over the middle and caught by Smith. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Devontae Smith with a really nice job getting past the sticks. And he just continues to establish himself as one of the best young receivers in the game. He's following up back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons each of the last two years. Here's first and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hertz. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Man in motion is Smith. Not Jalen Hurts on second down. Looking right side, he's got a receiver. It's Smith. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Hurts again. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. He is in. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Eagles. And that was just a great drive, really, from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm. Mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Eagles will tie things up. We are all even at 14. So back to level after the touchdown. Time for the kickoff. On the return is Chase Brown. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Bengals offense starting to trot out for this next possession. This one, everything we could have hoped for at this point. All even at 14. They'll start this drive with first down.
Working out of the gun, Burrow. Pass right side, and Higgins has the catch. A good spot here, second and a yard. Off the play fake, here is Burrow. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. That quarterback called that play in the huddle. That ball was only going to one guy. He was the first read, the second read, and the check down. And it was called to perfection. They got the perfect look and led to a nice game. They bring Chase in motion. Burrow now to throw on first down. Passing right side, and Chase has it. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of room to operate. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. On the toss, they give it to Moss. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They drop him in the backfield. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant. And once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense. And he has no choice but to take that loss. They bring Chase in motion. Burrow here on second down. Throwing downfield, right side, and it's caught. A gain of 21 on that pass play. It's a Cincinnati first down. Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick because that ball is coming out. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. They'll try again here, second and 10. They bring Chase in motion. Now a second down throw for Burrow. Catch left side is made by Higgins. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as the tackle's made at about the five-yard line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Here's a run. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight-yard line. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Second down, Burrow. That's hauled in at the two. And he's in. Cincinnati. McPherson now for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Bengals have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead.
the TD. On is McPherson to kick this one away. This taken at the five. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. They're searching here for the tying score. Down 21-14. And they'll begin first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's second and six. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Open man is Smith. He's got him. Here's third and two. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. On first down, it's Hurts. Look in middle, and he's got Brown. Second and a yard. Again, Hurts. A pass caught by Saquon. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. First and ten. To the air again. Hurts. The open receiver is Dotson. Give him 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. Hurts will try it again. He's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not and be taken down there. play went the wrong way it sets up second along it's second down and 12. here's Hurts, and he's going to go down yet again he has been under fire all game long if they win this game this pass rush is going to be a big reason why the five sacks speak for itself but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense that can't be overstated Just four seconds left in the first half. A timeout is called. Here's.
here's Jake Elliott now to try the field goal. This will be from 42 yards out. Elliott's kick is good. And the Eagles will cut the lead down to four. So, halftime here in Cincinnati, and the Bengals are on top as we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike. Thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. The Bengals got a strong performance in that first half by Joey B. Their quarterback, Joe Burrow. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. Out comes Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense to take over once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. Now, Burrow. Quickly, this one out to Chase. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. In a lot of offenses, Mike, these quick passes to the wide receivers really fall under the run category. Of course, they're gonna go down as a forward pass, but to a lot of offensive coordinators in the league, it's a lot easier to pick up first and second down yardage on these quicks than it is to turn around and hand it off to your running back and count on blocking everybody. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. The receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the high hand because right now on that field there's no mistake in who it is finding room across midfield and they are finally going to get him down at the Bengals 30 yard line that is a big play for Cincinnati 31 yards it's a combination of footwork and vision his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were it's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. On first down, Burrow. Checking it down, this one is caught. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. We tend to make NFL offense very complicated, Mike, but sometimes it's as simple as this. Get the ball into the hands of your playmakers and just let them do the rest. Here's a second and three forthcoming. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That is caught at the three. And he's in. Jamar Chase. Touchdown, Bengals. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think there's a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs and that's a big time connection for the touchdown. On is McPherson for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bengals will extend this third quarter lead. After 
the TD. On is McPherson to kick this one away. On the return, it's Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Hurts looking to throw on first down. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. He's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Tight end going in motion here. On play action, Hurts. Very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time, and it's going to bring up a third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. So after surrendering their sixth sack of the game, I looked down on the sideline, Mike, and found their offensive line coach. He grabbed his headset, removed it, and he slammed it on the ground. And truthfully, I don't blame him. His unit has been getting worked up front all day in pass protection. Here comes the Eagles punt team. As he'll punt it away for the second time. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. Bengals offense and Joe Burrow set to take over again. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart that is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Burrow to throw. Quick throw here is complete. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. And this is where the speed of your inside receivers are so critical. He lines up in the right slot. But Mike, look how far he covers to where he ended up receiving that ball. You can't have all day. Those defensive linemen, they are coming after your quarterback. So the speed in the slot is critical. That's a great example why. He'll spot Higgins, who makes the grab. Working out of the gun, Burrow. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. You can see pre-snap. The quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw. And now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. They bring Chase in motion. A first down throw for Burrow. To the middle of the field. That's taken in by Chase. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10-yard line. 
Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. T. Higgins, the intended receiver on that one. And it'll bring up second and goal. Tight end, the motion man to the right. Burrow here on second down. He's got it at the three. And room to operate as he takes it down to the two. Third and goal. Putting the tight end in motion. He'll try to run this one in. And he's going nowhere on this one. Met and dropped behind the line. And now it is fourth and goal. This is a great example of why it's so important on defense to sprint to the ball. His ability to make people miss is hard for one guy to get him on the ground. But when you can get everybody to the ball, eventually you can take him down. And in this case, they do it for a loss. Fourth down, and the Bengals will bring in Evan McPherson for the field goal trial. This, about as short as you can get. McPherson's kick is good. And the Bengals will extend their lead. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. McPherson now, after making the field goal, is set to kick this one off. This one taken at the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. He'll start on the ground with Barkley. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. If you have a shot to bring him down early, you just can't miss, Mike. Not against a runner like this. If he slips that first tackle, you can see how much more he can add to a run. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Once again, it's Barkley. Good running inside the 25. And they finally take him down, but not before he gets to the Eagles' 13-yard line. A pickup there of 25 yards. Good for an Eagles first down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. He's going to run it, and he's into the end zone. Jalen Hurts, touchdown Philadelphia. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because... They've still got some work to do. Elliott now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And 
and the Eagles will cut the deficit to seven. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Brown now to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Bengals offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. They'll come up here first and ten. Throwing is Burrow. This one deep downfield for Chase. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. He's trying to set the tone here for the rest of the game and let this defense know there is not a blade of grass on this field that you don't have to defend because he reared back and he let that one eat. And he's got to work a little bit on his touch, a little bit on his accuracy, but I don't think he needs to work on his arm strength. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play, winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time. And... He's able to secure a really nice catch. He'll try to run it here with Moss. He's going to have a Bengals first down. They're able to convert by plenty on that third and one. run out of the gun with Moss. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Burrow now. Quick hitting slant there. And it'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. On first and ten, Burrow. That's complete to all the tight ends. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. Now Brown. And he will work his way down inside the 30. A pickup of six. A six yard pickup brings up second and four. They'll work now on second and four. They're going to motion the tight end over here. Now, a second down throw for Burrow. There's that man again. Another catch. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space. 
case, but not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. And he'll be brought down on what will be the final act here in this third quarter. They face second down and seven. They'll send the tight end in motion right. Second down, Burrow. He'll get that to all his tight end. A third and two. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball, but also start working this clock. A run on first and goal. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Zach Moss, touchdown Cincinnati. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away here comes a return from the five and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop Saquon Barkley and this Eagle offense set to take over again and it's hard to believe you can run the ball a whole lot better than he has the vision the cutback ability the acceleration the stats it has all been on display throughout. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Look him up on a second down and eight. Hertz will work here from the pistol. Short pass taken in by the tight end. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. From the shotgun it's hurts now a deep ball looking for brown and he will score game on aj brown touchdown eagles two touchdowns 
for him now on the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Here's Elliott for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Eagles will cut the deficit to seven. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Brown now to return it. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That one finds Chase. And he's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. receivers but then finding a man open who's able to pick up enough to move the chains on the ground this is Moss and he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage but probably going to be a loss of a yard here at this stage in the fourth quarter great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do they're trying to bleed the clock shorten the game they completely sold out to stop the run able to take him down for a loss they go once more with Moss he's taken down but just shy of midfield fourth quarter you find yourself protecting a one possession lead it's a fine line Mike between do I keep the ball on the ground continue to work the clock or stay aggressive try to extend this lead to a multiple possession game that's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. On first down, Burrow. He'll find Chase, that's complete. And they're gonna work this down inside the 45. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conserved. Just hand off right, hand off left and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think here we are in the second half and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this group. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. Just 
to throw is Burrow. He'll take a shot here. Back of the end zone. That is going to be... Oh, in. He's got it. Jamar Chase. Touchdown, Bengals. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked. Mike, this defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're... And, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. So replay is going to take a look at this one and make sure it is good for six. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. McPherson now for the PAT. He's got it. And the Bengals will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll start out first down and ten. Throwing is Burks. The open receiver is Dotson. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. goes Hurts on the design run and this is going to be an Eagles first down as he gets this up to the 42 sometimes Mike the best plan is also the simplest plan and for this team just snap the ball to your quarterback let him find some daylight and go get that first down himself they'll break the huddle coming up now for first and 10 Hurts that's to the left side and taken in by Smith. He's still on his feet. And he has got this one all the way down to the two-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play gets him down close. And now it's first and goal. Now it's Hurts. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. This has been a masterful game plan defensively. I mean, not only have they found their mismatches and been able to exploit them, it's led to seven sacks so far. I mean, even when the offense seems to make an adjustment, Mike, the defense just still seems to be one step ahead of them. Move back to the 10. They'll try here on second and goal. 
Hurts going to keep it on the option. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. Oftentimes, the more success you have as a quarterback keeping the ball, the more attention that you're going to get from the defense. And I think that's exactly the case here. They've been burned a few times by this guy already today, but this time they were ready for him. Third and goal for Hurts. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. And that's a big-time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Any time on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that was it right there. will stay out there but they've got some yards to pick up fourth down and goal hurts this caught and he's not gonna get away they get him down right after the catch great rally to the ball to force a turnover on down so the offense finds themselves in a tough situation. They're down by two scores late in this game. They know this is a prime opportunity. They need to play for a touchdown. And instead, the defense makes a huge stand, and they got a chance now to close this game out. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll start this on the ground with Moss. And not really anywhere to go there. He'll take this up, move to the four. Here's a second and nine. Siki, the man in motion. And now compounding the issue here, we're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Awesome. That'll march them back half the distance, and they'll go from there. Still second down. Kosicki, the man in motion. Here's a handoff to Moss. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Another try with Moss. The Bengals ready to punt this one away. Cooper to Gene deep to return. Now fair catch is called for and made right there at the 45. The Eagles offense and the veteran A.J. Brown make their way back out. They'll begin with terrific starting field position. It gets going with first and ten. in motion is Brown. Hurts looking to throw on first down. 
taking off. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. He is dangerous when a play breaks down. A pickup of 18. They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. This one complete to Campbell. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. It is second and a yard. A shotgun snap now to Hertz. That'll be taken in by Barkley. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Man in motion is Smith. On first down, it's Hurts. Looking right side, he's got a receiver. It's Smith. Now, second and inches. Again, Hurts. That's a short one. Caught by Goddard. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down. But they are set up with first and goal. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get... And this is going to be a touchdown. Hold everything. They are not done yet. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. On is Elliott to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Eagles will cut the deficit to seven. They need a late recovery to have any chance. Here comes the onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick not much of a chance. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Set to go now on first and ten. Burrow takes a knee, and that ought to just about do it. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second. The clock will stop with an even 20 seconds to go.
Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Burrow takes a knee, and that ought to just about do. Now the Eagles will use the last of their timeouts. They get it with 19 seconds left on the clock. The last two runs each lost a yard. Now they're looking at a third and 12. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. other point for point in the end a few more defensive stops than their opponents did that is the difference in this one so that'll do it for us for greg olson and our terrific team behind the scenes i'm mike tarico you've been watching the nfl on ea sports follow us on x ea madden nfl it's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from cincinnati